I'm live. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm in my group. This is different. Oh, there we go. There we go. And share. Oh, yeah, this is different. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Welcome to the seven day chakra challenge. Let me copy the link. It's not going to let me share to my groups. How odd is that? Yep, so I'm going to have to go to my groups individually. Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm just sharing out. The hard way. <laughs> Come on Facebook. Hi, Damien. How are you today? Welcome to the seven day chakra challenge. I'm just sharing out. Did I say your name right? Hey, Deborah. I gotta share out the old fashioned way. There we go. Good evening, good evening, everybody. All right, last year I did a seven day chakra challenge. It was a private challenge. It was in my tarot training group. I did it with Amanda. Amanda Henny. Um, I'm gonna do this year's chakra challenge a little bit different. Oh, I look, it looks like I'm frozen. <laughs> I 
Up the little down, down, down. There we go. All right. I got it on my phone so that I can read the article. So last year's challenge was about a meditation that would help you balance each chakra. And we did a, a quick meditation for each day. This year, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to be showing you some breath work um, that will help balance it, this breath work that I'm going to show you will work for all your chakras, not just one. I was going to do one individual, but I decided that uh, this one was a good one and it's something that that uh, helps with a lot of things that are happening right now. So, let's see. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the seven day chakra challenge to balance each chakra with a short, yeah, short and easy breath work technique. And thank you for letting me walk around beside you on your journey, on your path to enlightenment and self discovery. I appreciate you. So, we're going to start with an intention. Um, I think even myself, sometimes we forget about setting an intention for all the things that we do. When we set an intention, we have a greater chance of follow through. We are able to complete tasks more because we know what the outcome is going to look like. Or similar to. Okay, so our intention for this chakra challenge is to balance our chakras to help us make better decisions on our path, feel better in our bodies, be more balanced, grounded, and to just be the best that we can be and feel the best that we can feel right now in the present. Okay, that is our intention to do something simple that will work for all our chakras and make it a habit. Yeah, all right. The goal today is to feel safe, calm, comfortable in our own skin. Feel confident, ready to handle whatever experiences life brings to us or whatever comes into our awareness. Feel grounded. Feel a sense of connection to self, others, nature, and spirit. This breathing technique will help us listen to our body or actually hear what our body is trying to tell us a little bit more. Some other ways you can balance the root chakra since this is the first day. Facebook's telling me to get ready to go live. <laughs> they don't realize I guess that I already did. You can burn cedar or sandalwood um, any candles that have an earthly, woody smell to them. For your root chakra, to eat healthy red foods such as apples, raspberries, pomegranates. You can visualize your a red healing balance light or do a staring or a gazing meditation to a red candle. Walking. Walking is one of the best things you can do to balance your root chakra. Especially if it's out in nature, in a beautiful place. Yep. Meditation, different breath work, chanting the mantra Lam is a, a good one. A lot of people have, oh, 
I'm not going to remember the name of it, but the beads that have 108 beads on them to help them keep count. You can chant that 108 times. So this breath or breathing exercise will not only balance all your chakras, but it can regulate your body temperature. And it relieves stress. It helps you be in the here and now. It improves your circulation. And it's even known to have some anti-aging effects. And it will cleanse the naughties. N-A-D-I-S. <laughs> not, not, not your naughty decisions. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> All right. It is called Enulam Vilam. And it's alternate nostril breathing. We're going to do it five, five rounds of it. I have to say, anybody with any blood pressure issues or heart disease, please do not do this breathing technique. I would advise you not to participate in this breath work. That's um, kind of why I gave some alternate things you could do to help balance that root chakra. Okay, the first thing, I'm going to give you an example and then we'll do the five. Okay, we're going to close off our, our right nostril. We're going to breathe in through our left and then we're going to switch and we're going to breathe out through the right. And then we're going to breathe in through the right and exhale through the left. So if anybody needs to blow their nose, get, get their nose clear. Now is the time. I'll wait a few moments. We're going to sit in a, a comfortable position. Oops. So I'll let everybody get comfortable and get their nose clear <laughs> if they need. You can tell me when you're ready or I'll wait a few minutes and just start. We're going to start with five rounds and then if you do this every day, you can listen to your body and scale up. Scale up like you can go to six and then seven rounds and eight rounds. Just however you are guided to do that. You ready? Okay. All right. So first we're going to close off gently. Close off our right side. And we're going to breathe into our chest, not our abdomen. Okay. So into our chest. Breathe in through the right. Switch. Breathe out through the left. That was one round. Breathe in through the left. Breathe out through the right. Two. And to the left. Out to the right.
And that's all there is to it. Just quick and easy. If you get dizzy, then <laughs> be careful. Stay sitting. And you can keep going and do it several times a day or just in the morning for your morning morning um, ritual or whatever it is you do to get ready for the day. I have a, a 20 second, the first 20 seconds of your day is the most important for me. And I tell a lot of people, before you get out of bed, just take 20 seconds to be in that warmth, be in that held, comfortable, safe, loving, warm position in your bed. And just feel what that feels like. And it'll pave the way for the rest of the day. And when you add different elements in there, like breath work, yoga, meditation, into your morning routine, you can, whatever life brings to you, you can bring yourself back to that balanced moment that you felt this morning. Yeah, it helps, it does. This will also help with a lot of the ascension symptoms that have been, that people have been feeling lately. Yeah, all right, let's see. Brittany, hey. And two others. All right. I challenge you to try to do this breath work each and every morning for the next seven days. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do it again with you. Yep. And I'll have different ideas for the sacral chakra. Yep. Everybody have a good day. And we will see you tomorrow.